Hey guys, welcome to the In The Game Room Podcast. Tonight I wanted to do a quick little video giving you a uh, sort of a sneak preview of a new product that's coming out from Gamecraft Miniatures and a project that I'm working on uh, for myself as well. This is a 28 millimeter scale tank factory, World War II tank factory, or any kind of factory actually, but I'm calling it a tank factory. Um, and there's a tank in there to show the size. It is approximately, approximately exactly 11 and a quarter inches. Hello, Doug. Um, by about 29 inches, and at the tallest point, it's about nine and a half inches. All MDF, with the exception of this front facade piece, which has these uh, columns on it. This will be a resin casting and it goes right on the front there. So you build the whole thing out of MDF and then just add that piece. Uh, these support structures here will be included. They go one here, one here, one here, and then you can do kind of a broken one here if you want that's falling down. There'll be about four or five included in the kit. And that'll be the basic kit. Uh, it'll be all open. Uh, there's a couple of stairs that go on the inside. I'll bring the camera around here and show a re reverse angle in a second. Um, and the roof for the uh, the front sort of office area lifts off so you can actually it's a little tight but you can actually put figures in there and have them inside so the idea here is that this will be a big enough building that if you build a board that's about 20 inches by maybe 40 inches or something you can pretty much play an entire very small game you know if you're playing like a bolt action you can have a squad of guys on one end and a squad of guys on the other and they can come together and battle it out so you kind of have a, an entire scenario around just this one structure um, a little history on this design I did a 28 millimeter destroyed factory um, some time ago but this thing was massive I call it the doghouse because you can literally put your dog inside it it's probably about 24 inches by almost 48 inches I think it's about two foot by four foot and it's about this tall um, I did it sort of as a special request for some people that wanted a model that big and uh, I actually went to Las Vegas to a convention very recently and saw the model being used in a in a game and it was very impressive to see a model that big but not terribly practical. As a matter of fact, even they left the building uh, in pieces so that it can come apart and they put it together at the conventions and things like that. This will be a building that you can build in one piece and have it together all the time. I think this is a really good size for, a, for an infantry type game like Bolt Action. So this is pretty much what the kit is going to come like. It's going to be the four sides, little bits of trim that go on, the front office section, and the girders that go inside. And that'll be it. Very basic kit. Um, what I'm going to do to mine um, is I'm going to build some rails in here and build a, a gantry crane um, system. And if, if, it, if it's easy to manufacture and it looks good, I might offer that as an additional add-on to this kit. But I'm definitely going to do it for mine. My idea for this kit is that it's going to be, even though it's got a Sherman tank in here now, we'll get that out, it's going to be a German tank factory, and I want to have the crane up there. I'm picturing the crane with a cable coming down uh, with a uh, Panzer IV turret on the crane, just sort of hovering above a tank that's getting ready for final assembly, and then a couple of other Panzer IVs down the row in different stages of deconstruction. Um, and then, you know, rubble all over them and everything. So these won't be vehicles that you can use in a scenario except to hide behind and things like that. But there'll just be all kinds of rubble and crap in there. And then I might get fancy and put like along the back wall, you know, machine shop area, maybe, an, maybe some pallets. I was talking to my friend Chris today and he suggested some pallets with like uh, track links and things like that on them. Um, chemical barrels. Just things to hide behind and fight around, maybe a couple of milling machines and lathes and maybe a few other tools. I'm going to do it up really cool and I'll, I'll, do these, uh, I'll do these girders across here and then I might 
because I can and I have the laser here, I might cut a couple out of acrylic and then heat them up and bend them so that, you know, it'll be like broken off about here and then just kind of bent and twisted. And then I'll have another one that's, you know, bent and twisted this way that's fallen down. Um, I'm going to try to do it up really, really cool with a lot of detail. Because in this scale, you can really, you know, get a lot of detail. It's easy to build, you know, different things to go inside. I thought for a second about doing some kind of lighting inside, just because lighting always makes a model look cooler. Um, but since it's a bombed out building, there wouldn't be any lighting, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but that's the that's a new model that's going to be coming out pretty soon. As soon as I can get this this front facade piece finished, it's got a, a little bit of detailing I need to do to it. I'll get it finished. I'll make a mold of it. I'll cast them cast one out of resin just to check it out, and make sure everything's cool. Once that's done, it's going to be ready to be released. I've put it together to this point just with some tape to make sure that everything fits properly, and it does. So the basic model is ready for release. Um, but uh, I just need to get this this uh, piece of trim here on the front worked out and once that's done I'll go ahead and release it and then once I'm done releasing it I'll, I'll take some pictures of it put it on the website and then after I do that then I'm gonna go on and finish mine with the uh, with the uh, the rails and the gantry crane and all the other details and stuff like that so it should be a real fun project and I'm thinking maybe if I have a 20 by 40 inch board and then two more, well you can't see out here, I'm hovering in space, two more 20 by 20 boards out here and then put a bunch of these, uh, you know, buildings on them. Maybe have a street running right down here and then have some buildings across the street. I can have a whole sort of, uh, you know, little town with a factory and uh, have a whole scenario right around this factory area. And maybe that'll be my board for uh, for bolt action that I'm going to take to the next convention in LA in, I think it's late May or early June. It must be late late May, I believe. So I've got a little time to get that done. Um, so there you go. This is just a sneak preview of what's coming uh, exclusively just for my uh, YouTube channel subscribers. So you'll know that this is coming out pretty soon. And you guys got to see it first. So... Hope you enjoyed seeing that and I hope you like it. And I'll go grab the camera right now and just come around and give you a couple of different views of what it looks like so you can see. Thanks a lot for watching and keep on gaming guys.